Namaste everyone. So this is a short video to tell you about the Navagrahas. Okay, and uh, what the Navagrahas are, and uh, you know what is their significance in uh, in Vedic astrology. Okay. So uh, graha, as we know, it's a Sanskrit word, and uh, the English translation of that word is a planet. Okay, and uh, you know graha, it literally means something that can grasp. Okay, that can seize. All right. And, uh, you know, it represents a group of astral forces which can enter your organism and it can take control of your being. Okay. So just uh, like I spoke about Jyotir Vidya. Okay. So, or any other Vidya, the Grahas, they can grasp and possess you. But, you know, they do so in ways which are, you know, which are usually less pleasant and, you know, which are less productive than the possessions by the Vidyas. Okay. For example... <laughs> If a person is, you know, is possessed by Jyotir Vidya, what happens is that the person becomes a very renowned astrologer. Okay, but if a person is possessed by a malefic graha, then the person can end up doing, you know, suppose the person is possessed by a malefic graha like a Mars, okay, like Mars, then the person can actually end up doing, you know, doing some antisocial acts. Okay, so what the graha does is that it grabs hold of your being with its emanations and directs you, you know, for better or worse to perform particular actions that you might not otherwise perform, okay? And those actions may be performed in a pursuit of goals which may or may not agree with your personal dharma, all right? And uh, these grahas, they are the personifications of the law of karma, or rather, they are the agents of the law of karma, and they will direct the native to experience at specific moments, you know, the reactions to the actions that have been previously performed, Okay. And uh, the horoscope, as we all know, is a map of our karmas, which are drawn to the specifications of the Navagrahas. Okay. And uh, generally speaking, the individual karmas are stored in the, you know, are stored in the warehouse of the casual body. <laughs> the casual body is known as the Vigyana Maya Kosha in yoga. Okay. And uh, it is the sheath that is made of transcendent wish wisdom. Okay. And, uh, you know, your shared karmas, that means the karmas that you share with your family, with your, you know, with your clan, with your race and with your fellow citizens, maybe in a city, you know, <clears throat> people residing within the same city, region or country, they will share their karmas with you. So <clears throat> those sh shared karmas, they are stored in the greater casual body, which is known as the Ananda Maya Kosha or the sheath, which is made of bliss. Okay. And as these karmas, they ripen. Okay, they ripen to fruition. They project into the subtle or astral body, which is known as the Mayo Manomaya Kosha. It is the sheath made of the mind. Okay, and uh, you know, this Manomaya Kosha is also the home of your self image, where they affect the mind. And this is known as the Manas. Okay, so what happens is that the mind thereupon directs the etheric body. Etheric body is the Pranamaya Kosha, which is the sheath made of prana. Okay, to energize the physical body, which of course is known as the Andamaya Kosha, which is the sheath made of food, to perform certain actions in order that the stored karmas may be worked out. Okay, so these five bodies, you know, these uh, you can find the details of these five bodies in the Taititri Upanishad. <laughs> and these five bodies, they nest within one another, like, you know, like a uh, Russian babushka dolls. Okay, just Google how Russian babushka dolls look like. You'll see what I mean. Okay, and when taken together as a whole, they will uh, compose a single human being. All right, so physical gravity it grabs the physical body, and uh, you know, Mother Earth's gravity it gathers to her all the beings who grow on her bosom. Okay, so just as human personalities reside within physical bodies, the corporeal planets act as physical bodies for the nine deities who are the great graspers. Okay, and uh, except for that of the sun and the moon, the physical gravity of the planets, it affects all beings on earth to a fairly minimal degree. Okay, so, you know, physical gravitation, in my opinion, physical gravitation is the least likely field in which the causation of Jyotish operates. Okay, in fact, you know, someone has actually calculated that the body of the doctor or midwife who delivers a child exerts a gravitational force on the child that is greater than any distant planet can deliver. Okay. So what happens is that instead, the subtle and casual gravities of the Navagrahas influence the way in which we experience the results of our karmas, okay, by seizing and controlling our subtle and casual bodies. And, you know, by analogy, although Thought has minimal reality in the physical universe. It is the cause of most physical actions that human beings perform. Okay. 
so that is you know that is that is a brief introduction to the grahas okay if you'd like to know more then you can join my you know vedic foundation astrology course which is being conducted every sunday <clears throat> you know which is being conducted every sunday it's free for all to join and if you want to join you can always send me a message at the link which is given in at the number which is given in the description box okay so that's it from me thank you for watching om guru venamaha